Hey everybody, welcome back. Um, I don't have my partner Justin with me today. He's super busy in the shop, so you just get me. All right, we're gonna talk about something fun, quick and easy today. And it's the question we get a lot of times when spring and summer starts to happen, all the way through to the fall, right? And the question is, why is there water leaking under my car? I'm sure you've all seen it. You've all had the question. You've all probably parked and then you've pulled away and you see a little puddle under your car and you go, what, do I have a problem? And you freak out, don't freak out. Air conditioning system is producing that condensation and it has to go somewhere. So as you are using your air conditioner through the hot summer and the temperatures are getting sweltering outside, right? Um, it produces condensation within the evaporator and the condenser and all of that good stuff. And what happens is it gathers in a tray and then there's a tube, usually behind the right front tire to the left a little bit, that actually uh, deposits or empties that water onto the ground. So nothing to worry about. Uh, make sure you, you just know that when your air conditioning is being used in the summertime, you'll have a lot of water. Now, also, uh, if you're in a humid area, right? So not only hot, but humid, you're gonna have a lot more water because humidity, of course, creates condensation, right? And you're gonna have a lot more water that drips out of your car. So keep that in mind, depending on where you're watching this, whether you're in a dry climate, uh, humid climate, that kind of thing. One thing you want to help with that dreaded stink and smell that is also present right in your, your uh, cooling system when you fire it up or you shut it down is if you can think about it, and we've spoken about this in other videos, if you can think about it and remember just before you get home a mile or two out, shut the system off but leave the fan on, it helps dry that condensation on the condenser and the evaporator and in that pan area to dry that up because it's just, you know, water that's sitting that's giving you that stink. So. Keep that in mind. Um, hope that helps. Uh, we get a lot of questions about why is my vehicle leaking water? That's what happens. So typically, again, we'll see it when you start firing up AC, March, April, all the way to the fall, okay? Hey, take care. We'll talk about next time, uh, what are we talking about? Um, oh, we're talking about how to check your transmission fluid. All right, take care, guys. See ya.